Welcome back to the last part of the series. Uh, so we are at the rear differential here. And you'll notice we got a, you'll notice we have a brake line going through here. So we're gonna take it off these plastic clips. And just grab a flathead screwdriver. So you're going to get your blade in here and pry it open this way. See how it clips in? Clips in like that, and I think it just pulls off. I'm gonna figure that out. Yeah, you can pry them off. Uh, so I just put my screwdriver between the cover in here, and it popped off that way. They're not threaded or anything, you can see. They're just kind of held in place by those little ridges. So these are your 13 millimeter bolts. And the rest of these are tens and just loosen those by hand to start with until you clear the gasket material and then you can take the rest out with uh impact there we go so i got all the gear oil drained out uh, the gasket is reusable. Everything looks good. Visually inspecting it here. Clean the housing. Uh, there's a little bit of gasket material, but I'm not too concerned about that if it mates up exactly the same way. Uh, I might try to get it off though, a little extra. And then uh, we'll start getting the bolts back in. I'm going to install the middle ones and then the rest of them but tighten them like outwards on either side and then torque them down to 177 inch pounds all right now that i got all the bolts snugged up everything cleaned up i have a inch pound torque wrench set to 177 inch pounds You can barely notice it, but that's it. All right, I'm gonna go around and do all these, kind of working my way outwards. After you get everything torqued down to 177 inch pounds, there's a stage two torquing spec that says to just turn 25 degrees or something like that. So you can hear that is 177 inch pounds and I'm just gonna go about like that because that feels already very tight so 177 and a little more and uh, repeat for all the other bolts as well and that will be your final torque on your cover bolts then you can fill it All right, two quarts of salt, around two quarts of uh, 7590. Uh, can't really hold this with one hand and do it with the other, so I'm gonna set her down. Here we go. Just over two quarts, like it said. I had one that I did on my uh, Ram that I still had, so I had a little left over. That way I didn't have to cut open a third bag. Yeah, that looks like about it. Last part, thread sealant on your plug. Snug it up. That's probably good. It's not going anywhere. And that is it. We're filled with the premium gear oil. Really simple, easy job. If you keep servicing your fluids, especially your transmission, engine oil, but everything, uh, you can make your vehicle last as long as you want.